So the moment I decide to actually put some Destiny 2 content on my channel, Bungie decides to just kill every exotic for Season of Opulence. Now, aside from one exotic, I do think a lot of these are not based off of PvP, especially since there's a new game mode coming to the new season, which is basically like a horde mode slash escape room thing. And in the Reckoning, which is strictly PvE, if you don't have an exotic that gets your super back, then you're almost a liability. And this is coming from a guy that mainly plays PvE more than PvP. So just don't have this blind faith that PvPers are the problem or PvEers are the problem because we're all the problem. I can promise you that. So to begin with, we'll start off with the Whisper. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I ran the Whisper mission with my clan, it was probably the best experience in Destiny 2. I remember it clearly. We were like five seconds away from losing and we ended up like killing the last boss with a shared shot. And we celebrated so much because it was so hard at the time. Now new players won't feel that. Because there's no reason to get this gun. There's like no reason. So for anyone that wasn't there in Destiny 1, we got this gun called Black Hammer. Which was essentially the Whisper of the Worm. That gun got nerfed the same way which then became Black Spindle. Which was what this which is what this nerf is becoming into. And I hate it. I hate this nerf. I hated it. I hated it when Black Hammer got the nerf. I hated it now even more because why bring this gun back if you're just gonna nerf it again? It's so fucking dumb. Now, I think if you're gonna nerf it, at least put it in the secondary slot because if you if you leave it, if you leave it in the heavy, no one's gonna use it. There's no reason to use it if you do. So if you got if you guys are from Destiny One, you guys will know what's happening next. White Nail pulls ammo from reserves instead of creating it out of nothing. Now the only silver lining in this is that reserve ammunition is increased to 18. Whoop the fucking do. So you only have 18 shots now. And Jesus, if you miss one of those shots, then only 17 or so much you miss. I personally hate this. It's so dumb. Whisper is like the flagship gun for Destiny 2. Just the same way as uh just as the same way as Gal Galahorn was the flagship gun for Destiny 1. So I I think this is just a dumb thing they did. So whatever it, it pisses me off but it I've, I've already felt this so next gun sleeper simulant not gonna lie this gun doesn't get much play from me personally I still think it's a dumb change that they're doing though so reduce ricochet bounce damage on boss combatants why though like why I think like this gun was only used for like one boss and that's it and now like, you're and like you're nerfing it like why though what's your thought process on this like I don't understand it. I really don't. And it's just weird. Like, why have Ricochet then? Just take that shit off. Like, it's just a you. Mm, whatever. 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 So, Lord of Wolves. Not gonna lie. I'm really A on this game. On this gun. Only because I've used it like three or four times in Destiny 2. I didn't have it in Destiny 1, so I don't have any partial like connection to it. So, I can't speak on this one. But, for those of you who are interested... PvE damage reduced by 20%. Release the Wolves perk has been reworked. No longer triggers automatically on kill. This effect is now triggered by holding reload, similar to the fundamentals on Hardlight and Borealis. PvE damage and range bonuses on this, on this effect has been removed and replaced with a universal damage bonus instead. Do with, do with that what you will. I don't really care. Now... Ace of Spades got a nerf, and for me, this gun is really special because, and I assume it's special for every other hunter that's watching this, because in Destiny 1, Cade actually gave us a, a quest to get this gun, and it was only hunter specific. Titans got like a an assault rifle, and then I think Warlocks got like a fusion rifle or some shit. I don't, I don't even, I never remember what they got. So seeing it nerfed because of a fucking titan helmet exotic that was literally the most broken exotic in the game but shards of galanor was too broken even though the super gain was so random you know what whatever i'm not even gonna start on that shit let's just see what the changes are momentum mori now ends if the weapon is stowed which i fucking hate i hate this change because it was so cool when you would proc momentum mori a titan would come up to you trying to shoulder charge you 
you switch to your shotgun, shoot him in the face, and then go back to your uh, ace of spades with momentum or he's still active till I get like two more kills. Like that was the play. But now, whatever. I'm not going to do that anymore. Not efficiently anyways. The PvP damage bonus of Memento Mori was slightly reduced to prevent two tapping guardians while vengeance, one-eyed mask, was active. Which again, just nerf these two together, not the whole fucking exhaust. They're nerfing a gun. They're they're nerfing one gun, one exotic gun, because of one hunt one Titan exotic helmet. Like what the fuck is your thought process on this, Bungie? Bro! How can you be this bad? Like this this is the type of shit that reminds me of that quote that one dev said that said, Oh yeah, making games is just hard now. It's like what the fuck then fucking leave? Like, oh my god, bro, don't even get me started. Momentum Mori is active for six shots again. Oh whatever, fucking cool. Hey, whoop the fucking do. <clears throat> Alright, so this is probably the main reason why people have been losing their shit constantly for the past like what two days or whatever <clears throat> because exotic armor so if you guys don't know all the almost all the super or all, all the exotics that gain super energy back are being nerfed some are being nerfed to the fucking ground so we'll start off with skull of dire hamkara orpheus rigs and phoenix protocol Skull of Dire Hamkara, Orpheus Rig, and Phoenix Protocol now receive super energy back with diminishing returns, making it rare to get a full super back. Orpheus fucking rigs already got nerfed, by the way. Skull of Hamkara is super powerful. I don't know if it's too powerful, but in PvP it isn't broken. Like, in order to get your super back, I think you have to kill like what four or five guardians, and even then, if you get that many kills, it's on them. That's their fault for huddling up together. And in PVE, it's fun. Like, it's just fun. <laughs> and Phoenix Protocol's like, why though? Like, I don't understand this change. I have this exotic, and I've used it a total of like, of I can't even remember, but like, I use I mostly use it for like horde type events like the reckoning i use that shit in the reckoning if i ever do the reckoning with my warlock or uh the one activity in um what's it called in the dreaming city aside from those two activities i don't use it ever and you can't even say this is a pvp change because they're pretty garbage in pvp as well this shit's easy to shut down just have someone else with their super just shut that shit down immediately and you'll end up getting like fucking six kills if they're all in it like i don't understand these are all bad changes so gwyn's invest on top of our second spectral blade nerf we're getting a nerf on our exotic as well so basically the whole void tree is useless for hunters that's what i'm getting at least gwyn's invest had its energy reduced from 15% to 8% for killing 1 to 2 guardians. Still scales up similar similar to before when killing 3 or more guardians. PvE energy returns remains similar to before, which is ridiculous because no one uses this shit on PvP. PvE, I mean. So, I think the one that hurts me the most, and I saved it for last because I love these exotics, I love them since I first got them, is Shards of Galanor. So, Shards of Galanor and Ursa Furiosa had their super gains cap reduced to be in parity with other super exotic changes. So Shards already had a nerf beforehand, and now it's literally becoming garbage. It's just a garbage can at this point. Thankfully, I had it when it was fun, but now it's just, it's sad to see it this way. Ursa's getting this treatment is kind of garbage as well, considering in PvE, the most I get is like maybe half a super, and in PvP, people need to shoot it so you can get your super back, and, and almost no one shoots it. It's a good tactic to like bait out people to shoot you, but you almost never get your super back, so I don't understand why they're changing this one as well. Not only that, but like they're not touching three ma main uh, exotics that each, each of the class has. Like, Titans have... The Doomfang Pauldrons, which basically give you unlimited free super forever, if I remember correctly. Unless they nerfed it already. 
the hunters get the celestial nighthawk that if you get a kill with it you get 30 percent of your super back and then the geoman stabilizers for the warlocks which when they sprint their super energy increases so i'm just kind of like but like these three are fine but all these other ones that you're nerfing that they're the problem oh, okay yeah okay for sure so I think what bugs me the most is that Warlock and Titans get a super that can regen on on hits. Without needing a fucking exotic. But hunters, uh fuck you guys, apparently. I'm not even gonna try to hide the fact that I'm a hunter main, but I play all the classes. I have all my classes at 700. I have all my exotics for all the classes except the three from Season of the Drifter. And even they're all pretty garbage, except like maybe, and that's a hard maybe for the Warlock's gateway artist. Maybe. So I think these changes are straight up garbage. This speaks volumes on how Bungie does not play their own game. They don't beta test their own games. They don't do anything of the sort. Because most of these changes are fucking garbage. Like, it's just, I don't understand. <clears throat> Scratch that. I do understand this. It's basically them trying to nerf down each of these like exotics so that they can <clears throat> uh so they can pad the the day one raid for sure this is the only reason i can think of because this comes out of left like so like left turn like i don't understand where this came from like <clears throat> that's the only thing i can think of because bungie loves their fucking raid nights they want to have one of those 24-hour fucking raid days again. But, like, nerfing all these exotics for one day, it's like, you guys really don't know, you guys don't have the understanding of, like, I, I'm just shocked that it happened this hard. Like, I never knew they were going to nerf something this hard. So, let's see what they say. We're sympathetic about the fact that the changes we make in the interest of balancing combat and game design can be jarring. It was important that we have this conversation before you read the patch notes. We know many of you have a lot writing on day one of Season of Opulence, the fucking raid. Hopefully this intel will insist, assist you in building the perfect monster killing machines for the next season of play. How the fuck am I going to make my monster killing machines if you're destroying everything? <clears throat> It's, it's just so fucking dumb. Like, I don't understand it, bro. And then, like, I think, like, what hurts the most is that, like, right after all those nerfs, people are, be like, feeling really fucked up about the whole situation. It's like, hey, come to our store and buy our merchandise. It's like, fuck you, dude. It's, it's, they had, like, the gall to do that shit. And I'm just like, bro, fuck you. Like, fuck you. Well, this is my video. I, I'm really pissed off about this. I was, I was really looking forward to coming into this whole thing with like, or coming into this YouTube thing with like Destiny hat being one of the games I do. But now it's like I don't even know if I want to do this now. Like, it's just why? Obviously, Destiny or Bungie just just doesn't give a shit. Like, what the fuck, bro? So. Thank you if you came this far. Uh, follow me on my social media outlets. Um, description below has all the things. My Instagram, my Twitter, my YouTube. Obviously, you're already here. But, like, everything else is going to be down there. Uh, stay tuned. I thankfully am back. On my next video, we're going to talk about what I think about the new subclasses. Or not the new subclasses, but how they're going to be with these nerfs. If they're still going to be good, if they're still going to be bad. I'm going to make a whole, like, just tier list of how they're going to be. So stay tuned for that. And in the other, I'm going to make another video right now, basically introducing like, hey, what's up, guys? It's been, it's me. It's been a minute. Like I'll like introduce myself again and telling you guys my journey of what's been going on. So hopefully you stay, stay tuned for that as well. So thank you for coming. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you guys have a great day or night later.